What's up guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in, and if this is your first time, go ahead, smash that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and go ahead and ring that bell for notifications. Today, I'm gonna to be jumping into Lightroom and showing you a quick, simple, easy, step-by-step -step process of how you can do a dodge and burn on your portraits in less than one minute. All right, guys, if you're like me, when I first started out in photography, I struggled trying to get used to using Photoshop. Every time I got in there, I was just overwhelmed by all the tools uh, and everything there is to learn. So I stuck with Lightroom. Now with Lightroom, you don't have as much flexibility when it comes to your editing processes, but they have came a long ways. And today I wanna show you again, one simple step to take your portraits to the next level with a dodge and burn. So let's go ahead, let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you exactly how I do this. So once you have your photo opened up in Lightroom, now with this photo, I will say I did go ahead, I've done all my color grading and everything to it, um, but now I want to apply a dodge and burn. So again, I'm gonna show you real quick how that can be done and it can be done in less than a minute. Now through this video, it'll probably take me a little bit longer just because I don't wanna rush through it. I wanna make sure that you guys understand how this is done. Um, but once I show you this process, I'll erase it, we'll go back and I'll show you just how quick it can be done. So the first thing that you wanna do once you have your photo opened is come over here to your graduated filter. I just go off to the side of the image and if you just drag this over to create one, you can see here if you just increase your exposure by dragging it to the side, you've covered your whole image. So what we wanna do for dodge is we wanna bring up the exposure. Now, if you don't know what dodge and burn is, dodge is to lighten and burn is to darken. So technically you want to normally uh, lighten up your highlighted areas and then you want to burn your shadowed areas and this is just going to give your overall portrait a three-dimensional look um, so again just bring up that exposure I like to keep it right around about 40 I don't like to go too high with it uh, so we'll just bring this down and just say sorry 0.40 All right, now you just come down here to your range mask, turn this to luminance. You can click this box here to see everything in red is where it's applied to right now, but we want it just applied to the highlighted areas. So we're gonna grab this range. Now it's just like your S curve. Uh, the right hand side is gonna be your highlights and or your light areas and the left hand side is going to be your blacks. So we want to remove it from the black, just drag this over, and we want it just applied to our highlighted areas, and then just smooth it out a little bit. I normally go about 55. Let's turn off that mask, and we can see before and after. You can just see how it's making all of those highlights pop. All right, so now we go to the burn. Just come up here to the top, click new. Again, we're gonna drag another graduated filter to the side here. We wanna bring our exposure down. Again, I normally don't go over 40, but on this, I also like to bring my shadows down just a little bit as well. And we'll come back down here to range mask, select luminance again, turn on our filter to see that everything is applied to the image. And we're just gonna drag this down just to our uh, black areas. Now, as you can see, this kind of takes it more to just your direct blacks. Uh, I do want it to be hitting in these shadow areas. So I normally just click here in the middle. I can just drag this slider over just a little bit and then again bring up the smoothness just to even everything out and that is it it is as simple as that 
here is before and after before after you can just see it makes everything just come alive it pops uh, it gives a nice three-dimensional look and it didn't take any time at all so let's go ahead let's just uh, reset everything here and we're just gonna show you real quickly how this how fast this can be done all right so we got everything reset let's go ahead and click on our filter bring this over bring up our exposure come down here to range mask luminance want this applied just to our highlights bring up our smoothness just a little bit click on new drag another one over let's bring down our exposure click range mask again luminance bring it over just to our darks bring that out to the middle bring this up it really is that simple guys i hope that you guys have learned something today if so go ahead give me a thumbs up smash that subscribe button or leave a comment down below i would love to hear from you so guys stay tuned to the channel i'm going to be delivering tutorials each and every week until next time, peace.